Now this illustration deals with grounding and bonding uh, metal uh, cable trays in accordance with NEC 392.60A, 392.30B3, 392.60C, and 392.100E. Now let's focus now on the uh, conduit system uh, to the right. Now notice uh, we're using a fitting to bond that tray to the conduit. And we're also using that uh, support uh, fitting to support the uh, conduit system. And this section, uh, 392.100E, lists such a fitting. If, if it's not a listed support and bonding means, then we would have to put a bonding jumper uh, from the conduit to the tray. And basically, that would be based upon the largest overcurrent device for any one conductor that's in the conduit. So you could say, well, we have number 10, number 12, and number 14. Then you could take the 30-amp overcurrent device and have a number 10 bonding jumper uh, that would bond the conduit to the cable tray system through fittings. But we're saying here we have a listed cable tray clamp and ad adapter in accordance with 392.100E. Now the NEC loop says fittings to see if they uh, are approved to act maybe as a support we would go to 392.100E. For the complete overall system of it, then you'd look at 392.60C. Now we're talking about the cable tray and the conduit, a complete system. Now grounding, 392.60, and it's accomplished just as we mentioned. Now sometimes uh, designers installers mainly, will want to support items to the cable tray system. That can be done if the manufacturer uh, allows it and doesn't prohibit it. And if they don't have, a, 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 you know, documentation in their instructions uh, from the manufacturer of the tray, then 392.100E along with 358.30 for EMT, would allow that uh, cable tray uh, to support the raceway uh, or EMT every 10 foot. So uh, that's mainly what this illustration is calling out. Can we support raceway systems and things to the cable tray system? And how do we bind a conduit that is looping the conductors into the tray is shown in the uh, illustration. So uh, this is where maybe it's a ladder type cable tray, uh, it's a ventilated type cable tray. Uh, if it's a solid bottom, sometimes they'll cut a little hole into the bottom. But if conductors uh, in the tray are large and so forth, well, a lot of times they'll show just as the illustration. They will just loop those conductors and lay them where they would, wouldn't be subject to physical, uh, physical damage. And that's exactly what this illustration is illustrating as we just uh, called it out to you.